Stunning video from above recently captured the eruption at Kilauea, which continued on Monday. A large earthquake that shook Hawaii the day before has had no apparent effect on the island's volcanic activity. On Sunday, a magnitude 6.2 earthquake struck off the southern coast at 11.48 a.m. Hawaii time. Scientists with the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reported that the 22-mile depth, location, and seismic waves of the event suggest it happened due to the bending of the oceanic plate from the weight of the islands, a common source for earthquakes in this area. Other than a few minor rock falls of the Kilauea caldera, there were no impacts to the ongoing eruption. This video was recorded by Mick Calver on October 9th. At the time of the flight, the lava fountains from the west vent were reaching heights of 15 meters, or nearly 50 feet. The fountain has created a spatter cone with a 10-meter or 33-foot-wide opening, which feeds lava east towards the crater lake. The lava lake continues to slowly rise and has had a total increase of about 38 meters, or 125 feet since the eruption began on September 29th. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory recently published a graphic illustrating how deep the lake is, showing how if New York City's Empire State Building was placed at the bottom of the crater, the lava lake level would be as high as the 70th floor. Seismicity and volcanic gas emission rates remain elevated, and the eruption is confined to the summit crater within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. No unusual activity has been observed in the Kilauea East Rifts Zone. Scientists will continue to closely monitor the eruption and issue daily updates until further notice. The current volcano alert level for Kilauea has been raised from advisory to watch, and the current aviation code has been raised from yellow to orange, amid an ongoing swarm of earthquakes beneath the south part of the volcano caldera. The U.S. Geological Survey Hawaiian Volcano Observatory on Tuesday morning issued a new volcanic activity notice, which reported Kilauea is not erupting. However, the onset of the earthquake swarm, which began on the evening of August 23rd, was coincident with a change in the style of ground deformation at the summit potentially indicating the shallow movement of magma beneath the south part of the caldera. The activity is confined entirely within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. The earthquake swarm began around 4.30 p.m. on Monday evening in Hawaii and continued through the night and into the early morning on Tuesday. At about 1.30 a.m. this morning, the swarm intensified in this region, indicating an intrusion of magma occurring 1 to 2 kilometers, or about a mile, beneath the south caldera. Over 140 earthquakes have been recorded as of 4.30 this morning. The largest was a magnitude 3.3, but the majority of earthquakes were less than a magnitude 1. Small earthquakes are continuing at a rate of at least 10 per hour. Scientists say webcams and satellite imagery show no evidence of lava at the surface. HEO says it will continue to monitor the situation and will issue additional messages and alert level changes as warranted by changing activity. Kilauea Volcano on Hawaii Island is erupting, once again. Following a sudden increase in earthquake activity on Wednesday afternoon, and an increase in the U.S. Geological Survey volcanic alert level from advisory to watch, lava is now filling the summit crater once again. The alert level is now at warning. At approximately 3.20 p.m. Hawaii time on September 29th, the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory detected glow at the Kilauea summit. Webcam images revealed that an eruption had commenced within the caldera, as of now, all activity is confined to the summit area within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Webcams show fissures at the base of the crater, generating lava flows on the surface of the lava lake that was last active in May of this year. The Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency issued this radio message at 5 p.m. This is a civil defense message. This is a Kilauea volcano update for Wednesday, September 29th. 
The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory has revised alert status for Kilauea Volcano from watch to warning and the aviation color code from orange to red. A warning status means an eruption is imminent, underway, or suspected. Aviation color code red means an eruption is underway or suspected, with significant emissions of volcanic ash into the atmosphere likely. Kilauea Volcano is currently erupting in Hale Mauma'o Crater at the Kilauea Summit. Eruption activity is confined to Hale Mauma'o Crater and the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory is monitoring and assessing the situation. Because the eruption is at the summit of Kilauea Volcano, the primary hazard is volcanic gas and ash, which can have effects downwind. VOG has been observed downwind from Kilauea Volcano. For information on gas hazards, please visit the Kilauea Status website. If you experience foggy conditions in your area, limit or suspend outdoor activity. For those with pre-existing respiratory conditions, the safest place is indoors or away from the area experiencing fog. Please keep yourself informed. This is your Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency. Signs of an eruption began suddenly on Wednesday at noon when increased earthquake activity and changes in the patterns of ground formation at Kilauea's summit began occurring. It was an indication that magma was moving in the subsurface. Although an eruption was not certain at that time, the volcanic alert level was raised from advisory to watch. The eruption began a short time later. An early look at the activity is seen here in this photo taken by the USGS as vigorous lava fountains formed in the middle part of the solidified lava lake. These animated thermal webcam images were taken between 2.45 p.m. and 5.45 p.m., and the start of the eruption was recorded. Lava flows have covered most of the crater floor, and the solidified island created during the last eruption is visible in the center. At approximately 4.43 p.m., another vent opened on the west wall of the crater. The vent area and lava fountain can be seen through volcanic gas in this photo. The eruptive activity increased in this area, and by 5 p.m., another vent was growing on the crater wall. The USGS published this map, showing the location of the new fissures at the summit. The new eruption is already generating a vigorous plume of volcanic gas. Sulfur dioxide interacts in the atmosphere with oxygen, moisture, dust, and sunlight to eventually form the volcanic smog. Known in Hawaii as VOB, it can be transported downwind and can have an effect on island air quality. Scientists say the opening phases of eruptions are dynamic and uncertain, and that the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory will continue to monitor Kilauea closely. HEO says it is in constant communication with Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, as well as the County of Hawaii Civil Defense Agency as this situation evolves. The U.S. Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory issued its weekly update on Kilauea Tuesday, with little reported change in activity. The Hawaii Island volcano is not erupting. Kilauea remains at an advisory alert level. Scientists continue to say it is possible eruptive activity could resume at the summit or perhaps the volcano is entering a period of quiescence prior to the next eruption. The summit lava lake surface remains completely covered by solidified crust. No surface activity has been observed over the past week and active lava has not been detected at the summit since the most recent eruption paused on May 23rd. This close-up view of the inactive western fissure at the summit caldera was captured this past Friday. For scale, the top of the fissure complex was measured to be standing approximately 20 meters, or 66 feet, above the surrounding lava flows. Seismicity has slowly increased in recent weeks, with continued summit inflation over the past several months and one deflation inflation cycle over the past week. Seismicity has not yet reached the levels detected immediately prior to the December 2020 eruption. There is an indication that the inflation center may have shifted slightly to the southern part of the caldera. The sulfur dioxide emission rate is down to about 60 tons per day. The measurement is approaching levels associated with a non-eruptive period from late 2018 to late 2020. Scientists also report no unusual activity on Kilauea's East Rift Zone. For now, the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory will continue to closely monitor Kilauea and issue weekly updates every Tuesday. The eruption continues at the summit of Kilauea, and scientists are keeping a close eye on the Hawaii Island Volcano. USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory personnel are set up at the edge of the caldera within a closed area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park in order to monitor the activity. 
From this vantage point, they collect the information for their daily updates to the public. Today, lava continues to erupt from a single vent in the western wall of the crater. All activity remains confined to the summit within the national park. Seismicity and volcanic gas emission rates remain elevated. HEO says the eruption at this vent has been highly variable. The low fountain, only a few meters tall, was frequently interrupted by larger bursts, throwing lava more than 30 meters or 98 feet into the air, splashing down onto the walls of the vent cone. It feeds into a lava lake that yesterday saw another 2 meter or 7 foot level increase. It's all being monitored closely by the HEO geologists. During their field work, the scientists collect high-resolution videos, photos, and thermal images. They also take laser rangefinder measurements and maintain instruments. The work is carried out with permission from and in coordination with the National Park Service. Sulfur dioxide emission rates remain high and are the primary hazard of concern this close to the eruption. Even away from the summit, the volcanic gas produces VOG that can blanket parts of the island. The VOG creates the potential for airborne health hazards to residents and visitors, damages agricultural crops and other plants, and affects livestock. HEO will continue its work, morning and night, and issue daily updates until further notice.